can. Through the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can. We, we can. We can. Uh, tell us somebody and say, we can. We can. Amen. We can through the Holy Spirit. We can. Amen. Paul, Paul wrote this book and uh, if, if you read it for yourself, you'll, you'll find that, uh, that, 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 that it was a time when Jesus was deported. And, uh, I don't know if you know, but, but Jesus hung around uh, for 40 days after he was resurrected. Yes, he did. And uh, he told them to, 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 to stay in Jerusalem until they received the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And it was 10 more days after the resurrection that the Holy Spirit came. And, and y'all know the story when, when all the people were gathered in, in one place and they were on one accord and the, the Pentecost happened and the Spirit came through and it said everybody spoke and heard in their own language, but there were all kinds of people there. Yes, yes. But they all heard the word of God in the language that they uh, spoke. And, and some that were sitting around said they are full with new wine. And, and Peter preached his sermon. Amen. If you read Acts, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And, 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 and the Spirit moved and uh, they, they say that 3,000 souls were saved, saved that, that one day. Mm -hmm. And he said they were all on one, one accord. Lord. And they stayed together and they worshiped together and they ate from house, moved from house to house, breaking bread and fellowshipping together. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Y'all know the story. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, 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 uh, some of us today, people who are <clears throat> committed to Christ and to the work of the church struggle we're, we're, we're trying to do what they did at Pentecost yes. we're, we're trying to do the job that all of us have been asked to do amen. lead others to Christ amen amen, amen. amen. And, 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 and many have grown weary and discouraged mm -hmm. yes. Uh, because of an inability to see changes in our friends and our family, even in members of our own church. Amen. Changes in their, their attitude and in the commitment they have toward one another and toward serving Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have just shut up their mouths <coughs> trying, to, trying to lead others to Christ. Amen. Uh, amen. Because it seems to be a uh, a very difficult task to get people to do what they don't want to want to do. Amen. 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 But 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 I'm reminded in the second chapter that all of those folk who came together didn't come together to be saved. That's right. They, they, they came together uh, because that was a that was a gathering, a feast that was going on, Amen. and they came together to enjoy the feast. But they came in the Holy Spirit. Moved, all right. and all of those folk got saved. Yes, sir. Y'all hear me good now. Yes. Because when the Holy Spirit moves, we can, through the Holy Spirit, help people change their lives. Like, I, I know, I know, I know. It gets discouraging, and, 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 and a lot of us have, have fallen prey and said, You can't make nobody do nothing. Right. But, but, but I was reading the scripture, and the scripture didn't say we should make them do anything. Right. The scripture says, if I be lifted up, Jesus Christ, that he'll do all of the... Amen. Amen. He'll do all of the making. I, I can go back to me when 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 God was calling me into to, to another office, into a ministry to be a preacher, and, and I didn't want to go. I, I didn't want to preach because I didn't want to give up what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Not that I was doing anything, but whatever it was, I wanted to keep, I still wanted to have the, the the opportunity to do it if I so desired. I still Amen. wanted to go to the beer joint, mm -hmm. even though I wasn't drinking. I still wanted to go hang out with my friends. Amen. I still I told the Lord, Lord, I cuss. And and, and, and I didn't want to give up cussing. 
But the, 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 the Lord didn't make me do anything. Amen. He didn't make me stop going to the big gun. He didn't make me stop cussing. Amen. He didn't make me stop lying. But what he did is he put the Holy Spirit in me. Amen. And the Holy Spirit changed me. Yes. He said, you go to the beer joint if you want to. But he took away the want to. It's all right. so, so we can affect other people's lives mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Amen. When you look at the scripture, you say that Jesus spent some time with the disciples before he was taken up to heaven. And that time that he spent with the disciples was very important to them because they learned some things. Yes, but while he, before he spent that time with them, they were fussing and fighting among themselves. Uh, they had scattered abroad because when Jesus got, was, was crucified, they all left. They, they were all gone. But they weren't hanging around to see what happened. All right. They, they, they went on their own. They were every man for himself. Mm -hmm. Because they were disappointed, wasn't they? Man. Because they thought Jesus came to free them from the tyranny of the Roman. Yes, sir. Y'all heard me. All right. Yes, sir. You were in Sunday school this morning. Y'all heard this Amen. before. He thought, they thought that they were going to be set them free in a physical way. Mm -hmm. But Jesus sat down and told them that I didn't come to set you free in a physical way. You can live in the scripture. They wanted to know when was the kingdom of God going to happen. Yeah. What did Jesus tell them? It ain't, it ain't for you to know what God going to do. Right. A lot of us are wanting to know when things going to get better. Right. God said it ain't for you to know. Yeah. It's just for you to trust and believe that the Holy Spirit can work yes, in sir. you yeah. if you give yourself yeah. to him. Amen. Amen. We, we, we keep waiting on it. You know how many times you talk to a little Jody May and Jody oh. May won't change? Oh. Hey, Y'all hear you know what I'm saying? You got tired of even going down there trying to talk to them. Amen. 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 But, but it's not up to you as to when they change. Yeah. It's up to God. Yeah. Amen. 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 You just say, you just <coughs> stay here and do what I told you to do. All right. Amen. Sit, be still, and wait for the moving of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I, I, I want to know if we didn't wait for the Holy Spirit to move in our life. Yes. Because if we have, the power of the Holy Spirit moves everything. Amen. Amen. I got, I, got, I, got, I got to tell you a little secret right here. If you would, turn over to, to Romans 8 and 9 real fast. I'm going to take you for a minute. Romans 8 and 9. Just go, go right for Romans 8 and 9. I, I want to tell you something here so that... So that you just some that you can judge your own self. Eight and nine. But look at look at look at what it says. He says, but we are not you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. <coughs> if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not here. Yeah. Huh? Amen. If we have received the Holy Spirit then the Holy Spirit should be in us. Yes. And if it's not in us, we don't belong to Him. Amen. And if the Holy Spirit is in us, we can do anything. Amen. Yes, we can. <laughs> through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then we got to stop giving up on folk if we have the Spirit of God <coughs> in us. Yeah. If the Spirit of God ain't in us, then somebody needs to stop giving up on you. Yes. Amen. Because once we receive the Holy Spirit, the Bible says we will receive power. Yes, yes sir. Huh? Yes, we will. Uh, not, uh, not, not, not just any kind of old power. Yes, sir. But, 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 but power to move things yes. out of the way. Yes, sir. Power to climb over mountains. Yes, sir. Power, power to have some courage. Amen. Amen. To stand Amen. up. Amen. Right? Power to have the ability to speak for the Lord, Amen. the ability to live right when, yes, when we yes, get sir. power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We got everything that we need. We need. Yes, sir. Amen. Bible tells me that no weapon will form against those who, who have the Spirit of God in them. Yes. Didn't say that you wasn't gonna have no weapon formed against you. Wasn't gonna, didn't say that nobody wasn't gonna cuss you no more. 
Then say that nobody wasn't going to talk to you no more. Then, then, then say that nobody wasn't going to lie on you no more. Then say that folks wasn't going to stab you in the back no more. But the Bible says that the power of the Holy Spirit will... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> These things will not affect you anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, our problem is we 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 think we should be insulated against everything. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. You see, when the when the, when, when the cold came the other day. Uh, we had the heat on that I have. I don't know about y'all. I know some of y'all had those, didn't have those problems. But we had the heat on that I have. And the, and the heater would come and it would feel real good in there. Amen. All right. Amen. But when the heater shut off, it still got cold. Amen. Huh? Didn't mean we didn't have no heat. It just meant that it didn't last all the time. Because that last all the time, we'd have burned up in there. No. But once the thermostat got to a certain right. place, the heat would shut off. Uh, uh, until it got below that temperature again, then it would kick back in. Well, when God is with you, sometimes you're going to go through some stuff. Right. Don't mean that the Holy Spirit ain't with you. Right. It doesn't mean that the thermostat got to get below where you can handle it on your own, and then the Holy Spirit... All right, all right, amen. You got to learn that for yourself amen. so that you don't go running and hiding every time things get a little tough. All right. Y'all yeah, didn't hear me this. You see, when, when we trying to do our job to help other folk get closer to Christ, what we do is get tired of asking them and talking to them, though. Now, that's what happens. We get tired of talking to them. And when they reject us, we say, well, just talk to the hand or <laughs> talk to the foot or something, amen. But we got to realize that. That we still have the power. Yes. We got to have some holding on power mm -hmm. and some not giving up power. All right. See, when you love your neighbor as yourself, anybody here ever gave up on themselves? Mm -hmm. yeah, amen. You done messed up, but you always forgave yourself, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, you? You may have felt bad for 30 seconds or an hour, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you got over it. All right. <laughs> amen. You, you didn't say, I'm going to starve myself because I messed up. <laughs> no, you, you kept on. You, you, you just said, well, you're going to still take care of you. Amen. I don't care how much money you done blew. When you got some more, you still felt like you had the right to spend it. All right, Bill. All right, Bill. The way you wanted to. Y'all yeah, know I'm right about it. Yes. You got paid every two weeks, you spent something. Every two weeks, you weren't supposed to spend. All right. But when the next two weeks came, you were still trying to live for something to buy that you didn't need. Right. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. That's how, that's how we got in trouble. But then, when it comes to our brothers and our sisters, when we're trying to help them and they reject us, we want to give up on them. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. God will move in their lives if we don't quit. Yes, right. Listen to me, listen to me. God said, if you quit, then I need somebody to move on you. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder why folk are praying for some folk? Mm -hmm. and, and they look around, they, they end up on the prayer list. I see y'all sometimes. Somebody put your name on the prayer list and you're like, well, why they put my name? You get the water. What's it? They say, you needed some prayer. Amen. 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 But you didn't realize it. God is always working, you know. I don't know about you, but I've still been out there some place and somebody hadn't prayed for me. All right. All right. And I sure didn't think I needed no prayer. So, so we can't be giving up on one another. Yes, sir. We, we, can, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And if we have the Holy Spirit, we got all the power that we need. Not, not, not just to help other folk, but to change our own lives. Some of us have, have made so many mistakes or, 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 or been done wrong. <laughs> y'all yeah, yeah, hear me? I, I know it ain't your fault okay. that, that you're in the hole that you're in. <laughs> but it's always somebody else's fault. I understand that. But some of us have gotten in such deep holes that, that we think there's no way we can dig out. So we do like some folks. We do like the crab. They just, they just live in the bottom of the barrel. Huh? Make right. them a little home. And they even get a little jealous when somebody try to crawl out, they want to pull them, pull them back. back in. <laughs> yes. Amen. And, 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 and we get to the point where we live and live in this state of disrepair. All right. Amen. And we, we get to the point where we think that's just the way it is. Mm. I don't know how many times I've heard that. Just life. 